Now, many people complain that they're misrepresented by the press and the reporters don't respect their privacy. Well, this certainly hasn't been my experience until last Tuesday, when two representatives of the Fourth Estate came to interview me. Good morning, I'm Julian. This is my friend Sandy. Yes, we're from the Daily Polari. Yes. He's the man you follow around, and I'm the one you can't gag. I'll gag. Can we have five minutes for your time? Well, it depends what you want to do with them. Oh, well. Well, our editor said, why don't you troll off up to Mr. Orne's Latty? That's flat or house, translator's note. Yes, that's right. And have a Polari with him, you see. Yes, yes. We'd like to have something hot and personal. Mm. Well, how, uh... How about this mustard plaster? No! Oh. <laughs> no, thanks. We just had breakfast. Yeah. Now, how did you two become news hounds? Well, uh, we was Aunt Ada. You know Aunt Ada. Yes, yes advice to the lovelorn. The lovelorn, you know, polones with pimples in love with older men, you know. <laughs> All that sort of thing. And you advised them? Yes. Well, we'd done yes. what we could, yes. but we, could. we ran into a few snags, didn't we? Oh, no. well, say that again. Yes. Oh, yes. I... Yes. Oh. Well, what about, well, for instance, Indignant of Chatham. Remember him, Sam? Do I? Oh, Indignant oh, of Chatham, oh, do I? It's extra on my memory, yes. that is. Indignant of Chatham. More of a deal. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. He took your advice? Yes, yes and he's still indignant. Yes. <laughs> no. He's had to move from Chatham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the, what about that Curly of Wimbledon? Oh. oh. Yeah, he had a personal problem. <laughs> we told him what to do in a plain envelope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And what's more, I tried to. <laughs> it was absolutely useless. Ian, are you Curly from Wimbledon? <laughs> Not, to not anymore, I'm not, thanks to your advice. Still, it's cured the blushing. Yeah. yeah. Now, what did you come to see me about? Well, we heard you'd done something absolutely staggering with a Mara. <laughs> Mara? At the Church Hall. Yes. Church Hall? Oh, yes, the vicar's wife was astounded. I bet. <laughs> yes, well, we can't go back to our editor with a story about how you won a prize for a Mara. Not likely. No, I mean, where's work. the titillation in there? No, titillation? No. Well, we've got to chart the story up somehow without your reporter's companion. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, um... oh, yeah, and, uh... And uh, take this down, dictation, take this down. Now, yes. Mr. Horn, let me see. Um, is that a picture of you on the wall? Yes, it was taken when I was 18 months uh, on a bearskin rug. Oh, it is a good likeness. Mm. <laughs> right, get this down, Jewel. Kenneth yes. Horn, former nude photographic model. <laughs> let me see. You won this competition, did you? Yes. yes. The, did the vicar chant an entrance fee? Uh, yes, there was a small chart. Right, yes, Jewel, I've got it. I've, I've got it. I've got the headline. Mm. Uh, Kenneth Horn, nude photographic model, admits vicar's charge. <laughs> They printed it, and of course I complained, and the next week they published an apology, blazoned in letters nearly an eighth of an inch high, next to the chest problem. 